Hello, this is Daniel, please. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which we're going to be taking a look at how to optimize shaders in Minecraft. That's right, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to optimize a shader that is already very low and will already give you very good FPS. We're going to be optimizing it some more to give the maximum amount of FPS that you can possibly get with shaders on a low end system. Before we get started, I need to tell you that we have recently reached 15,000 subscribers and I am so grateful for that. I really want to thank you all for subscribing. So if you're new to the channel, then you know what to do. If you enjoy these type of videos, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. I would truly appreciate that. I can't wait for us to reach the next milestone, which will be something like 20,000, man. I can't even begin to think about how cool that would be. But anyway, I'm very, very grateful for reaching 15,000 subscribers. So anyway, thanks to all of you that have subscribed in the past and are still with me. Some people have actually been with me from the start and are still commenting on my videos. I mean. That's dedication, right? That's insane. Now, before we get started, I need to tell you that we have our own Minecraft server as of recently. It's play.danielplays.net. It has survival and skyblock, and we're working on new game modes as we speak. So if you want to join that, feel free to join using the IP address down below in the description or on the screen right now, play.danielplays.net. Now, in this video, what we're gonna be doing is pretty much using a shader that already gives insane amounts of FPS because it's a very basic and low end shader and we're going to be optimizing the shader settings. So if you actually want to use shaders, you do need Optifine and you do need to install the shader first. If you're not sure how to do that, which I can imagine you're not, then be sure to check out the videos that I put down in the description or on the screen right now, which will let you know how to install Optifine and shaders first. Now, once you're done installing Beyond Belief Vanilla Reborn, which is the shader pack that we're going to be using for this video, I have found it to be the best optimized and like most low end, if that's even a thing, shader pack. So that's the one that we're going to be using in this video. And it also allows you to optimize it even further than the default settings. So that's perfect for this video and if you have a low end PC. So here we are in Minecraft. I'm actually already using Beyond Believe Vanilla Reborn. I also enabled the FPS counter to actually allow you to see the FPS that I'm getting and the FPS that I'm getting after I optimize this shader. So let's take a look at some of the effects that you're going to see when you enable Beyond Believe Vanilla Reborn. The distance blur is actually something that I enabled myself, but you are going to be seeing depth of field by default. There's going to be anti-aliasing, which is hard to tell from a video, but when you're actually playing Minecraft, you can see that the textures are usually softened a little bit. Also, you're going to notice this shading on parts where the blocks actually meet, which is called ambient occlusion. Those are some of the features that you're going to see enabled by default. We're going to be optimizing this shader pack to work perfectly fine on even a low end PC. As long as you can run vanilla Minecraft with about 30 to 60 FPS, this shader pack should work on your system after we've optimized it. So to optimize the shader pack, what you're gonna to wanna to do is hit escape, go into options, video settings, and shaders. So once you're actually here, as you can see, I have a ton of shaders installed on my computer, but you wanna select the one that's Vanilla Reborn, and the naming for this one is a little different from the other versions, but as long as it's this one, the Vanilla Reborn one, just click shaders options there in the bottom right corner. And then we get this menu that allows us to customize the shader. Let's start with visual. Ambient occlusion is the important setting because that's one that's really going to impact your FPS. So the first thing we're going to be doing is disabling it. And it's actually pretty easy. All you got to do is click this button right here where it says on and then turn it off. Click done and that should already be applied. Now we can go back to this menu right here and come over to sky and click clouds. Now make sure clouds are actually disabled. Now for this version, the clouds actually didn't even work for me, but that's okay. Just make sure they're disabled because they're kind of cost a lot of FPS if they're actually rendered on screen. So the waving blocks is the one thing that we're actually gonna be leaving. I do want the leaves to wave. I do want the foliage to wave and I even want the water to wave very subtly. Cause if we disable those features, we might as well just disable the entire shader pack. Click done here. Don't change anything there. The development section is also something we're not going to be touching. Come over to post process right here. This is one of the important parts where we're actually going to be gaining a lot of FPS. So under depth of field and overworld, select depth of field off and distance blur off because those are some features that actually are very well optimized on this shader pack. But since this video is actually about getting the most FPS out of a shader pack that is already low end, 
make sure to disable that that is very useful and will give you a lot of fps now click done and that should also be applied immediately you can also do the same for the nether unless you're not going to visit the nether you're not going to notice that but if you're actually in the nether and the nether is also lagging real bad be sure to also apply these settings to the nether next thing we're going to be doing is disabling motion blur right here just turn that off right there tone map is something that doesn't really impact performance what i would do is just set it to vanilla now anti-aliasing is one of the most important settings for this video and for your fps make sure to set this to not to taa because that's even more aggressive anti-aliasing than fxaa make sure to turn it off completely then click done and now we're almost there now for this video color isn't really that important the water is though the fog is not important but refractions should be turned off for the best fps click off and then done and that should be applied immediately now the last tab for this shader pack is world and under heat refraction you want to turn heat refraction off because it's one of those effects that might cost you a few fps that you actually cannot miss because you're actually using a low-end system that might be the case so in that case turn off heat refraction the rest of the settings aren't that important and don't affect your performance too much now click done and that should be applied click done again and go out of this menu by pressing escape now look at that our shader pack looks totally different the water is still waving the leaves are still waving but now instead of about 150 fps i'm getting over 200 fps so if you actually use my previous video that will pop up somewhere there in the top right corner or will be in the description as well on how to optimize minecraft just vanilla minecraft video settings and then come back to this video and optimize the shader settings you should be seeing a significant performance increase when combining those videos so combining both that tutorial and this video should actually make it possible for potato pcs to kind of run shaders at least you'll get the effect of subtly waving water and waving leaves now like i said you do need to be able to run vanilla minecraft with at least 30 fps to be able to run shaders at all but i'm assuming most low-end systems these days can actually run minecraft at 30 fps to maybe even 60 fps when you reduce the settings that i show you in the tutorial video that i mentioned earlier now i truly hope this video helped you out in running shaders on a low-end system if it actually did be sure to let me know down below in the comments be sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or if it helped you out. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, which of course you do, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. And then as always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya!